We begin tonight with efforts to change what some believe are unsafe speeds on our area highways. Last week, a three year old toddler from Fafurias lost their life while traveling with family on Highway 77 near Rivera. Now, according to DPS, a driver was trying to pull out of a gas station when the car was T boned by an oncoming vehicle. Our Alexis Green joins us now in studio with what a local advocate and leaders are doing to put a stop to deadly crashes. It is tonight's top story at six. Alexis. Thank you, Leslie. I got the chance to speak with Lance Ham, who serves as a highway traffic safety advocate to make changes to our roads and make them safer for drivers. Ham has successfully advocated for other speed limit decreases in the area and says the difference of five miles per hour can be the difference of life and death. Ham, who travels Highway 77 regularly, says vehicles leaving the Valero South of Rivera have to merge with 70 mile per hour traffic, not giving drivers enough time to adjust. Well, sadly, uh, change usually takes place after a fatality, and this little girl from Falfurius uh, is a victim, and the community did not save her life. And that's a shame, because, because uh, up and down in our US 77, there's been multiple fatalities, and what we need to do to get change is to ask TxDOT to uh, use some uh, context sensitive solutions to lower the speed limit. We also spoke to Claiborne County Judge Rudy Madrid over the matter, who says he's also working tirelessly along with the Claiborne County Sheriff's Office to make the area safer for his residents. Judge Madrid says the construction going on for the new I-69 overpass also adds extra hazards. We've lowered speed limits. We've, we've, we've cut off the turnarounds. We're trying to eliminate anybody from having to stop at all in this in this work zone. Um, but the folks ain't slowing down and it's putting our citizens at risk and we're not going to tolerate it. Judge Madrid says the sheriff's office is going to crack down on enforcement when it comes to those violating speed limits. Madrid says they still have several more years of construction because of the I-69. It's going to go through Kingsville, Ricardo and Rivera. We also reached out to TxDOT for a comment. A spokesperson tonight telling us they are in the process of developing a relief route on Highway 77 so that drivers will not have to access from a driveway directly to the highway. Leslie. All right, Lexus, thanks for that report.